Factoring a polynomial, like ax squared plus bx plus c, can help you solve a polynomial equation, like ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. To solve a polynomial equation by factoring, one, write the equation in the form p of x equals zero for some polynomial function p, and two, factor p of x, use the zero product property to find the roots. Problem one solving polynomial equations using factors. What are the real or imaginary solutions of each polynomial function? Part A, 2x cubed minus 5x squared equals 3x. First we'll start by rewriting this in the form p of x equals zero. 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x equals zero. Then we'll factor out the greatest common factor, in this case x, to write x times the trinomial 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals zero. And then we'll factor the quadratic trinomial 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 in parentheses to be the product of two binomials, 2x plus one and x minus three. So now our equation takes on the form x times the binomial 2x plus one times the binomial x minus three equals zero. Then we'll use the zero product property and find that x equals zero, or two x plus one equals zero, or x minus three equals zero. In our equation two x plus one equals zero, x must equal negative one half, and in our equation x minus three equals zero, x equals three. The solutions are zero, negative one half, and three. Part B, how about the equation three x to the fourth power plus 12x squared equals 6x cubed. Our first step, rewrite in the form p of x equals zero. So we'll collect all these terms on the left hand side and set that expression equal to zero. 3x to the fourth minus 6x cubed plus 12x squared equals zero. And then we can multiply by one third, multiplying each term on both sides of the equation by one third to simplify. This now becomes x to the fourth power minus two x cubed plus four x squared equals zero. Now we factor out our greatest common factor. In this case, it's x squared to write our equation as x squared times the quadratic trinomial x squared minus two x plus four equals zero. And now we should attempt to factor the quadratic trinomial x squared minus two x plus four. But not finding that it factors nicely, we'll continue on, and we'll use the zero product property. Either x squared equals zero, or our quadratic trinomial, x squared minus two x plus four equals zero. So, from our equation x squared equals zero, x equals zero, and from our equation x squared minus two x plus four equals zero, we use the quadratic formula to solve. So, x equals the negative of negative two plus or minus the square root of negative two squared minus four times one times four all over two times one. That simplifies to two plus or minus the square root of negative 12 all over two. That's two plus or minus two i times the square root of three over two. And that's one plus or minus i times the square root of three. So we can state the solutions are zero, one plus i times the square root of three, and one minus i times the square root of three. Your turn, part A. What are the real or imaginary solutions of x squared minus one times x squared plus four equals zero? Part B. What are the real or imaginary solutions of x to the fifth plus four x cubed equals five x to the fourth minus two x cubed?